All right. So most of you probably already know about Goodlock, Samsung's own customization hub that takes your Galaxy phone to a whole new level. It's basically the place where all the fun stuff lives, from tweaking your home screen and lock screen to customizing animations, gestures, and even multitasking. There is a module for almost everything. So in this video, I'll show you some of my favorite good luck modules that will help you transform your Samsung into your kind of perfect smartphone. Excited? So let's get started. You know how some wallpapers look great for a day and then start feeling a little flat. And that's where Wonderland comes in. It takes your background and give it life. Think of it as your phone's little animation studio, where you can turn any image into a dynamic moving scene that actually reacts to your touch. Snowflakes falling when you swipe, bubbles rising as you tap, it's the kind of subtle magic that makes your screen feel personal and alive. And the best part, you don't need to be a designer to pull it off. You can start with one of the presets or use your own photo. Stack layers for parallax effect and sprinkle in particles to create your own vibe. So if your wallpaper's been stuck in the same pose for months, Wonderland is your chance to give it some personality. No coding, just creativity. Now think of your lock screen like your phone's front door. It's the first thing you see every time you pick it up. Now imagine being able to completely personalize that door to match your style. That's exactly what Lockstar lets you do. It's easily one of the most fun good lock modules because it gives you total freedom to design your lock screen and always on display exactly how you want. You can move the clock, widgets and notifications anywhere on the screen. Toss in a few stickers for personality and even swap out the default shortcuts. I replace the usual torch and camera icon with my most used apps because honestly, I open notes way more often than I use the flashlight. Now it doesn't stop there. Lockstar also lets you personalize your always on display, changing clock styles, widget color and even adding extras like weather or calendar info. And if you are worried about battery life, the auto brightness feature keeps things visible without draining power. In short, Lockstar is like a home makeover for your lock screen, except you don't need paint. You know how Samsung's default home screen sometimes feels a little too busy. Home up is like giving your phone a quick declutter and a personal style upgrade all at once. It lets you fine tune everything from your home screen grid to your app drawer and even the recent app menu so your setup looks and feel exactly how you want it. Now I love that I can adjust icon size, hide app labels for a cleaner minimalistic look and even make my page loop seamlessly when I swipe. It's one of those small things that makes navigation feel smoother and more polished. And the customization doesn't stop there. You can completely change how your recent app appears, switching between list, grid or stack view depending on your vibe. Personally, I use the grid layout since it makes multitasking way faster and it just looks tidier. Pair it with theme park for custom icon shapes and you're basically got your own mini launcher but built right into Samsung's ecosystem. So if you like your phone looking as sharp as it feels, Home Up is a total must have. It also has this really cool feature called DIY Home. Basically it removes all the usual limits you get with home screen customization. You can adjust the grid however you want, resize icons and widgets freely and place things literally anywhere. It's like full creative control over your home screen. Now have you ever set a wallpaper that looks amazing but then realize the rest of your phone doesn't match at all? Yeah, that's where Theme Park comes in. It's basically Samsung's built-in design studio inside Goodlock that lets you create a theme that perfectly matches your wallpaper. Colors, icon, keyboard, everything. Instead of endlessly scrolling through half-matching themes on the Galaxy Store, you get to make your own masterpiece from scratch. Now here is how it works. First pick a wallpaper and Theme Park automatically builds a color palette around it. Then you can tweak everything from your keyboard stone to the quick setting panel and even the volume slider so it all matches perfectly. You can also change icon shapes and color and even add a completely new icon pack turning your messy home screen into a uniform aesthetic setup that actually feels like yours. So if you are the kind of person who rearranges widgets just to match your wallpaper, Theme Park is basically your new happy place. Now do you ever realize your keyboard is one of the things you use the most but it never really feels yours? Key Cafe totally fixes that. It lets you customize and style your keyboard in ways that actually makes typing feel fresh again. It's like Theme Park but dedicated entirely to your Samsung's keyboard. And once you start customizing, it's hard to stop. 
You can tweak everything, key color, typing effect, even the click sounds until it feels perfectly you. But the real magic is in the layout customization. You're not stuck with a default setup anymore. You can literally rearrange, add or remove keys to match your typing style. I even added my most used emojis right above the number row and honestly I don't know how I lived without it. Now whether you want a fun, colorful vibe or a sleek minimal layout, Key Cafe lets you design a keyboard that looks great and makes typing way more enjoyable. It's one of those small tweaks that end up making a big difference every single day. Now you know those moments when something cool happens and you're scrambling to open your camera but it's already too late. Registar basically fixes that. It lets you add custom gestures like a quick double tap on the back so you can launch your camera or any app in seconds. It basically gives your Samsung phone a secret handshake, double tap or triple tap the back and boom, it performs whatever action you assign. Open the camera, launch Spotify, take a screenshot, pull down notification, all without even touching the screen. Now what's even cooler is that Registar isn't just about fancy gestures. It also lets you reorganize the setting menu exactly how you want it. No more scrolling through endless options just to find battery or wallpaper. You can rearrange, rename and streamline the whole thing like a pro. Now personally I have set mine so a double tap opens the camera and a triple pulls down notification. It's one of those small things that makes your phone feel instantly smarter and way more you. You have probably noticed that small bar at the bottom of your screen when you're using gesture navigation, right? It usually doesn't do much, just kind of sit there. Well, Navstar changes that by letting you customize how it looks and even what it does, turning that tiny bar into something actually useful. Now once you enable the extra gesture setting in the good lock module, you can finally hide that gesture bar again or customize it if you actually like having it there. You can tweak everything from its size and transparency to its color so it fits perfectly with your setup. And if you are into fine tuning your gesture, Navstar also lets you adjust the side back gesture sensitivity and even change the back indicator style and color. I personally love keeping mine subtle and clean, just enough to see it without it screaming for attention. So basically Navstar gives you back control over your navigation bar because sometimes the smallest tweaks make your phone feel just right. Now have you ever looked at your lock screen and thought, yeah, it looks nice, but kind of basic. Sure, Samsung gives you a few clock styles to play with, but if you really want to go all out with customization, that's where clock face module comes in. It lets you create and personalize your lock screen clock in ways the default settings can't. From unique design to full on creative layouts, it basically lets you give your lock screen clock a total personality upgrade. You can choose from tons of unique style, from minimal digital designs to fun one like speedometer, a bike or even a retro radio. And that's just the start. You can tweak the color, rearrange the digits and even switch between 12 hour or 24 hour formats. So if you're tired of your lock screen looking like everyone else's, clock face is your chance to make checking the time feel a little more you. So guys, these are some of the best good lock modules that you should definitely try if you love customization. So which of the previously mentioned module you like the most? Do you know of any other good lock module that we should have added to this list? Do let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. And for more future videos like this, do consider subscribing and hit that bell icon so that you never miss any future videos from Extreme Droid.